Hello everybody, this is Lord Tack with a tutorial on how to build a nuclear reactor in the Technic Pack. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is build the shell. You probably want to use reinforced concrete, I believe it's called. And you want to make it 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, which is probably going to be taller than your house, but the whole point is to be able to fit the reactor plus water and be able to draw current out of the reactor. And I think that was eight actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So when you're building this, you have to consider a few things. Um, the first one being what kind of reactor do you want to build? Is it going to be completely stable? Or are you going to have to check on it every now and then? Um, if you want it to be completely stable, you can pretty much put it like right next to your house and it'll last forever. It won't blow up. And uh, all you'll have to do is ex change out the uranium cells. Now we're on to making the walls here. Um, one more thing I would like to mention is that on the wiki for this mod, it says that reinforced concrete will stop, or at least dampen, the explosion of the nuclear reactor as long as, darn it, as long as there are four, um, concrete blocks in a row around it, basically. I don't know if it means four thick, or just a wall consisting of four concrete blocks in that direction. So, it's any it's anyone's guess. I haven't really tested it, because pretty much every reactor I've built so far has been right next to my house. Um, on the other hand, since the Technic Pack comes with a slew of different mods that really aren't supposed to work, work together anyway, like equivalent exchange in buildcraft. Um, it's pretty darn easy to make a reactor that will not explode at all and create a lot of power. But that's technically cheating because you're using stuff outside of the mod. Now, as you can see, I'm not leaving any gaps except that one. <laughs> uh, you don't want to leave any gaps in the walls. You want to make sure they're completely solid. So, I'll just take a second to finish up these walls. Darn it. I actually put one too high there. Alrighty. That's about it, uh, except the opening door is a little bit too high. Uh, let me fix that real quick. There you go. Now, of course, you need to make a little platform so you can get in. Like so. And a little one so you can stand on, because we're going to be putting water all in this thing. And an output for your power. And there you go. That's the shell. Now, one sec while I get the rest of my tools. Alrighty. I got some water buckets, some ladders for some reason. I forgot why I got them. And all I did was add a lever and a door. <clears throat> now, what you want to do is you want to put water in these four corners here. So that's two water, three water, and four water. <clears throat> then you want to put water in all the outside corners, right there, there, and there, and finally there. Then you want to do it on all these outside walls as well. You don't want to have any blank spots. If you have any blank spots, you could screw up your reactor and cause it to explode. And as you can see, there's a blank pillar here. This is where the reactor will go. Now that we're done with the water, we can go get our reactor. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yep. Uh, let me just get rid of all these water buckets. Stop picking them back up. There we go. Um, I already got all the reactor pieces. Yes, I know I'm cheating. I'm only doing it because it's in, it takes a lot of components to build a reactor. <coughs> it takes a lot of components just to build all this concrete. Anyway, oh, didn't mean to do that. You want to have stack up two dirt here. Come on. There you go. Uh, put the reactor on top of the pillars. And what I thought you were supposed to do is put dirt on the outside walls. Kind of like that. And you had to do that to put the cores on. Well, turns out you can just click the reactor and there you go. I just thought I'd mention that in case anyone else thought that is what they were supposed to do. I mean, because that's what I thought once. <laughs> this is probably going to be the hardest part of building the reactor in survival mode because you'll probably die once or twice from drowning. Dr drowning? Drowning. <laughs> and there you go. That's, there's your physical reactor. But as you can see here, there's nothing in it. It's not doing anything. We have to put together some useful resources to make this reactor produce power. Now let's just go over here and grab our stuff. Sorry, I keep hearing that darn duck. Stupid duck. So, wrong box. And here you go. This specific configuration requires 21 coolant cells, 12 reactor plating, 12 heat dispersers, and it can only contain a maximum of 9 uranium cells. <coughs> Which compared to some of the other designs I've seen is a lot. So, here's how you put it together. I'll be alt-tabbing a little bit to look at my design. Yet, put it like this, and that's no, not right. Darn it, I lost my infinite cell. So it goes like that. And let me get my cell back. Where is it? 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 There it is. And so, now you add some more cells here, 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 here. And I think there. That's not right. There. Um, put some cells there, there, there. I think that's right. Whoa, froze, froze, unfreeze, unfreeze. Come on, stop freezing. Come on, there we go. It happens sometimes. I don't know why, I'm still trying to fix it. Anyway, those were in the wrong place. So we just move all this stuff around. That's all the coolant cells. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. It looks a little bit lopsided, but that's exactly how it goes. <coughs> now the plating goes just like this. Very simple design. Very easy to remember. And now the heat dispersers go in this formation. <coughs> also a bit easier to remember because it's so symmetrical. Um, I think I put one or two in the wrong spot. Yeah, wrong spot. And there you have it. That is your completed reactor ready for uranium. Let's toss them in there and see how it goes. Oh, missed one. There we go. Now it's ready for uranium. Would have been a disaster if I tossed the ura toss the uranium in there before I put that in. There you go. Listen to that hum. Sounds good, doesn't it? 
Alright. Our uranium is... Uh, our reactor is all ready to go. It's completely safe. And it will never need any cooldowns. Now, but there's still one more thing we have to do. We're not getting any power from this thing. Nothing. Nothing's coming out. Doesn't store any power. So we need wiring, which I apparently did not remember to store in this chest. Hang on a second. Um, be right back. Okay, there we go. Now, yeah, you're supposed to put the wiring in before you put that top piece in. So you put it like that, you connect it to the top part, and you put any kind of power storage unit you want at the top. Um, I would suggest the MFSU because, well, it can store a ton. And we're getting power. We got power. We got the power! <laughs> Alright, now, just to show you how much power is actually coming out of this reactor, let me find the EU reader, wherever it is. Man, too many items need a search function, I swear. Um, hang on a second. Spazzing out just a little bit. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Now, you don't want to click on the box, because that's not going to give you an accurate reading. And you don't want to click on the reactor, and it's not working. Come on, click the cable. Work. Darn it. Work. Maybe because it's underwater? Um, no, it's not even coming up, is it? Uh, maybe it's because I'm in creative mode. Yeah, it was because I was in creative mode. But as you can see, you get 110 EU per tick. That is still very, very low compared to some other generators. Um, I think the coal generator produces more than this, actually. But it'll last an extremely long time. We're talking, um, what is it, three Minecraft days? Die, duck. Die. 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 Hmm. This has been a tutorial on how to make reactors. <laughs>